Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second header of our doubleheader Friday Night Football Showdown. It is between the Lost Wages Invaders and the Nashville Lycans. Both teams, zero wins, two losses going into this contest. They are both looking for their first wins of the season, which is actually kind of surprising because they've been known to do very good uh, prior to all that uh, 0 2 mess uh, last season. And now they are. Contenders for the Tank Bowl. One of them's going to go 0-3. The other's going to finally get a win in the column. Who's it going to be? We'll find out right now. Once again, we are coming to you live from Newson Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. For the field hazards today, we have 16 rocks, 14 mutant traps, 4 spikes. Weather forecast is mild with sporadic lightning, so there is a chance that some of the mutants may end up dying. As you notice, there are also um, field goal posts swaying back and forth that will affect how teams score field goals in this game. So th teams, things are going to get really interesting. Nashville Lycans have the Beast Boost, Dirty Trick, and the Murder Ball, while the Lost Wages Invaders have Chainsaw and Murder Ball. Hot Potato, Sack Attacks, Berserks, and another Hot Potato. So both teams have a Hot Potato in their arsenals so we are in for some football baby hopefully some blood and gore let's take a look at the sidelines to see what the team's captains have to say <clears throat> all right we had the uh, GOAT Toss, which is brought to you tonight by Alistair, the Radio Demon. Please use caution before sealing any deals with them. Nashville Lycans won the GOAT Toss and will elect to receive the ball first. Oh! Itchy Howler, the Burn Returner, almost got his face slammed into the Mutant Trap. That would have killed him right away, but it is not the case. They'll start the proceedings on their own 42-yard line. First and 10. Derek Frenzy. Oh! Dead and gone on the very first play. Oh. Lost Wages Invaders used, a, used that hot potato dirty trick right off the bat. I'm surprised uh, none of the Lost Wages Invaders players um, got their own players taken out as a result. Anyway... AJ Growl take, took up the ball and got a gain of seven. It is now second and three. Ball on the opposing 34. Diane Ramakill looking for a receiver. Murder ball, dirty trick, and it took out a lot of lost wages invader. Oh, and another one got hit by the mutant trap. There's going to be a lot of dead players. Click, baby. You're now on Instagram. Oh, look at that. Four players. 52, 90, 98, 25. All dead and gone. That murder ball dirty trick did its magic. And none of the Nashville Lycans died on that play. So they're on good terms. And they are now in the red zone. First and 10. Ball on the opposing 12. Diane Ramakill looking for a receiver. Gets one in. Touchdown. But is it going to be reversed? No, it will not. No bullshit penalty was called on. Number seven. Womp Ass Gorman. Credited with that touchdown that's his first of the ball game his second of the season with 5:30 to go left in the opening quarter and now comes the extra point attempt they're gonna have to deal with the swinging tree and they'll get it with no problem the extra point is good that dark forest tents get very very dark at around this time of night but anyway, they will now kick off to the Lost Wages Invaders. Bled Ingnets will attempt to return the ball. He'll make it past the 35 and get stopped at their own 38-yard line. They'll start the proceedings there, first and 10. Wave Scar. Looking for a receiver. And another murder ball dirty trick. This time it only took out one player. Hey, politics can uh, lead to violence a lot. 
Number 48, Spud Droopy, dead and gone for the rest of the game. It is a first down ball directly at midfield. Oh, watch out for that lightning. The ball will snap. Sends it over to the running back. Josh Jacobs running with the ball and will gain 12 yards on that play. New fresh set of downs will be taken at the opposing 38-yard line. First down. The ball is snapped to Rave Scar. <coughs> just as I uh, sneezed a little bit, we just had ourselves our first quarterback sack of the game. And that was definitely a brain scrambler, ladies and gentlemen. That will cause a loss of nine yards. It is second down, and woo, that's a lot. Rave Scar, the quarterback, sends it over. To Josh Jacobs, the running back, and gets wrestled due to ground. They should have thrown him on. Ah! You idiot! You just walked right there, Ed. Oh, we got a bullshit penalty. No eyes, Norman, making that call. But prior to that, yeah, Harold Slamdry, the third, just decided to walk into a mutant trap. Didn't even pay attention. What in the world? But yes, a bullshit penalty backed them up 10 yards, and they're definitely going to jump off sides, kill the ref. They'll get a new ref that's not been bribed. Bill Shill Hill is going to come in to officiate. And the Lost Wages Invaders will be backed up another 15 yards. It is second down, and pretty much an arena football field to go. Brave Scar to receive the ball. And gets sacked for a loss of 10. My goodness, what a backup. Third down and just forget it. Get the goddamn punter on the field already. Come on. Number 54 was credited for that sack. That's his first of the game and second of the season. Wave score. Sacked again. This time for a loss of 12. Number 20, Ginormous Stankins, credited with the sack. That's his first sack of the game and his first sack of the season. Fourth down, 69, 65, almost 69, nice yards to go. They will send out the punting unit. The punt is going to be well deep into the end zone. A.J. Cold to punt the ball. Oh, forgot to return it. Itchy Howler is going to attempt to return it. He'll make it to midfield, past midfield, over to the 40-yard line and gets slammed right there. The opposing 41-yard line. That's a good return. It'll be, that's where they'll start the proceedings, first and 10. Nashville Lycans currently with a seven-point lead. 2.37 left in the opening quarter. One pass, four men. Going to get five yards for the team on that play. Moved up to the opposing 37. Second down, five yards to go. Sends it over to Diane Ramakill. AJ Growl to receive the ball. And that is indeed a first down. First and 10. Ball on the opposing 14 yard. Ooh, look at those scary looking guys. Damn good thing I'm in the safety of my booth. Oh, and that quarterback was not in the safety of that booth. He just got his neck snapped for the sack, backing up 10 yards. Second down, 20 yards to go. Diane Ramakill going to send it over to receiver, and that will only gain a yard. Third down, 19 yards to go. I would recommend a passing play. And that looks like exactly what it's going to be. Diane Ramakill looking for a receiver. Finds one at Biff Swarm, and they will measure that one out. Three inches short, as they call it, will be fourth down. And they decided to say fuck it and go for the three-point field goal attempt. Surprised they're not going to fake this one. But it is good nonetheless. Nashville Lycans now up by 10. It is a two-possession lead. Las Vegas, uh, Lost Wages Invaders set to receive. Makes the kick. Led Ingnats. Set to return the ball. And gets thrown over the back. 
on to the 32-yard line. That's where they'll start the proceedings. First and 10. 46 seconds left in the opening quarter. Sends it on over to the running back, Josh Shakeups. For a gain of four yards, it is second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 36. Ball is snapped to the quarterback. Sends it over to the running back, Josh Shakeups. Might make it past the yellow line. Well, do. Over to the 45 yard line and is slammed down at the 47 yard line. It is going to be first and 10, and that will do it for the first quarter. The first quarter break is brought to you by Impact Wrestling. Yes, somehow we still fucking exist. How we're not dead, we don't know either. We are now going to start the second quarter. Nashville Lycans with a 10 0 lead. Josh Shakeups to receive the ball. And a gain of eight yards on that play. Watch out for that lightning. Things are going to get very dicey. That's for sure. Second down, two yards to go. Ball on the opposing 45. Josh Shakeups has a chainsaw. Ooh. Taking on down, and that's not going to go. Oh, I think there's a dead player there. Josh Shakeups still with the chainsaw. No one's going to be able to stop him. Chainsaw is lost. Oh, look out. And looks like, oh boy, there might be some dead players. If that's what you call humble, I don't know what you, what I want to see on the greedy side. 31 and 51, both dead and gone. So if you had that on your mutant, dead mutant bingo cards, make sure you mark that down. So far, we've not had a jackpot winner as of yet. Sends it over to the running back. It is first and goal, ball on the seven. A gain of six yards, but not enough to get the first down. They'll be one yard short of that. Second and goal, ball on the one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, Quarterback hot, set to receive the snap, sends it over to the running back, and gets in the touchdown. No penalties on the play, the six points will stick. Josh Jacobs to be with be credited for his first touchdown of the game that is his fourth of the season Las Wages Invaders looking to score an extra point timing is everything especially with these field goal posts oh nice low kick right through the uprights and that will be good Lost Wages Invaders will now kick off to the Nashville Lycans. Sends it off. Itchy Allen to return. Pass to 30. The 35. Made it past the spikes on the 40. Midfield on the 50. Oh, what a return. They take it to the enemy side of the field on the opposing 44-yard line. That's where they're going to start the proceedings for their next drive. First and 10, Nashville Lycans with a three-point lead. Would like to extend it with another touchdown. One pass, Foreman sends it over. Diane can't ram a kill. Attempting a Philly special, but that just went nowhere. Uh oh look out, there's a quarterback sack attack. And that's going to do it for the quarterback. Ugh, you hate to see that happen. That is going to be a 15-yard unnecessary manslaughter penalty. And make sure you up due to that. So there it is, Diane Ramakill, dead and gone. Did not survive the quarterback sack attack. But they will get an automatic first down, first and 10, ball on to 26. And now we're going to have a beast boost injection dirty trick. One pass, Gorman. They are definitely not going to be able to take him down. He's going to take it all the way to the house. And that is a touchdown. Ooh, took some, took some damage from the spikes, but he's still alive and got it in. Six points to the Nashville Lycans. One pass Gorman credited with his second touchdown of the game. Expected to make a field goal attempt for one point. Snap, place, kick, 30, oh, no good, oh, 
They missed time to swing of that field goal post. That is that is one of the most unique things about the MFL, especially at Newson Stadium. You never know what's going to happen. Even the one-point attempts aren't as easy over there, and you just saw right there. Bled Ignatz will now receive the kickoff. Attempt to return. Will not get past the 36-yard line. They will start the proceedings there. It is first and 10. Ball on their own 36. Ball's going to be snapped. Uh-oh. And that's going to be a fumble on the play. Nashville Lycans will recover. And finally gets taken down there. Bashad Helvin credited. That's his second turnover. First turnover. I forgot I missed the, um, missed the sack there. Josh Jacobs running back for the Lost Wages Invaders. Dead and gone for the rest of the game. And it's now first and 10. Nashville Lycans receiving the ball, looking to extend the lead. And the running back will be taken down at the 25 yard line. Hogan Hoodside, the quarterback, is injured and will have to hit the sidelines. Second and two, ball on the opposing 25. Ball is snapped. Sends it over to Biff Swarm. And is taken down at, at the 8-yard. Ooh, right in the middle of that huddle up. But fortunately, nobody got hit. 8-yard line, first and goal. This is over to one pass Gorman. And, oh, just short of the touchdown line and is backed up two yards, but they will get a gain of five, net gain of five. Directly on the three-yard line, it is second and goal. Quarterback sends it over to one pass. Oh, we got a double quarterback situation. Oh, and that was just too easy. That is a touchdown. Nashville Lycans to add six points to the scoreboard. They are running away with this one, 22-7. They will now attempt a two-point conversion after missing the extra point on the last touchdown. And they'll pick it right back up. They're back on pace. Nashville Lycans leading this now by three possessions. It is 24-7 in their favor. They will now make the kickoff to the Lost Wages Invaders. Letting Nats set to return. Pass to 30, 35, and won't go any further. 35 yard line is where they're going to start the proceedings. First and 10. Lost Wages Invaders set to receive. Rave Scar. Sends it to the receiver, Brian Deadwards, credited with the reception. Takes it a good 20 yards. They are now on the opposing 45-yard lines. Fresh set of downs. It is first and 10. And Hayden Amore, running back, takes it down. Gain of eight on the play. It is second down. And, oh, almost got zapped there. Almost got Zap trying to call the timeout. Lost Wages Invaders will call their first of three timeouts. They have two timeouts remaining for the first half. One minute, 50 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Hayton Amor, the running back. Why are you guys running? Oh, that's why. Bombs away. The yardage will count and they'll get a first down. But Hayden Armor, whoo, dead and gone rest of the game. Second timeout called by the Lost Wages Invaders. Brave score, the quarterback sends it over. Intercepted by Gravon Crown. LLB gets taken down at their own 33 yard line. But oh my goodness, what an interception by number 55. Gravon Crown, that's his first career interception. 
And, and yes, that is his second year in the league. That is amazing play. Nashville Lycans set to take advantage. A minute 23 remaining. One pass Gorman. I would recommend saving up as much time as you can. Get a score before the end of the half. Hogan Hood side. Heading to the sidelines. He is injured. A minute 10 left in the half. Apparently they're not deciding to save up the clock. Even though they're going to receive the ball in the second half. One pass Gorman. Running back going to take, take out with the ball. It is now first down. And now they will take a timeout. Nashville Lycans with 53 seconds left to go in the first half. Will take their first of their three timeouts. They have two remaining. It is first and 10. Ball on their own 46. Kevin Shogun. Looking for a receiver. And instead is going to take the ball himself? Oh, that is a bold play. It, I guess it paid off somewhat. They got a gain of nine yards. It is second down one yard to, uh, to go. And they will take their second of three timeouts. They have one timeout remaining for the half. They're taking it to the 45-yard line. Opposing. Hurry up offense has now been enabled. One pass Gorman. Oh, come on. That just went nowhere. Third down, five to go. Ball almost at midfield. And they'll use the last of the timeouts. They have 29 seconds remaining in the first half. Hurry up offense has been activated. Kevin Shogun, look for a receiver. Sends it. One pass Gorman, the running back to receive. With 13 seconds left to go, they have no timeouts remaining. And it looks like they're going to try and go for it. Kevin Shogun is deliberately going to throw out of bounds. Looks like they'll instead grab the field goal unit, get it onto the field to attempt what I think is a three-point field goal. That's going to be quite, quite an angle. Can they reach it? They'll make the kick. And, oh, that one was a close one. It's going to be reviewed, and the council has decided that the field goal will count, so that will be for halftime. And it's almost a blowout. Nashville Lycans with a 20-point lead over the Las Vegas Wages Invaders, 27-7. Halftime stats brought to you by the state of South Dakota. Not only do we have corn, but we also have Mount Rushmore. What more do you want in life? South Dakota. Before we start the third quarter play, let's see what the team's captains have to say at the halftime. All right, Lost Wages Invaders will receive the second half kickoff. I was mistaken. Um, Nashville Lycans did receive the first half kickoff. Led Ignat. Taking it to the 34-yard line. That's where they will start proceeding. Ooh, lots of lightning strikes. Surprise, lightning um, hasn't really struck our players yet. Then again, I may have just jinxed the, jinxed the whole thing. Lost Wages Invaders with only three running backs left in play. Rave score, the quarterback. Look for a receiver. Ooh, Brian Deadwoods just missed the uh, mutant trap there. And we'll pick up a first down. Ball will now be placed at the opposing 44-yard line. Tap the ball, sends it to the running back. And that is going to be a loss of three on the play. Second down, 13 yards to go. You want to now send this over? Brave Scar, quarterback. Looking for a receiver. Gremlin Snake, the running back. And is taken down. First down, ball on the opposing 21. And it looks like we have a penalty. Oh, we got a penalty. Ooh, boy. Yep, they're going to be backed up 10 yards thanks to a bullshit penalty. And they're going to have no choice but to try and kill the ref. They're going to jump off sides. And the ref is dead and gone. Light Scary will now take over the proceedings for the rest of the game. And that's going to back him up another 15 yards. It is now second down, 38 yards to go. Hot, hot one, hot two. 
Brave Scar. Uh oh. Oh, get slaughtered on that one. But the left guard. Oh no, we got another slaughter on the play. And this time, Nashville Lycans will recover the fumble. Wow. Two very important players on this team, including a quarterback, is dead and gone. Yes, you do, number 93. So there it is. Rave Scar number four is out alongside number 64. Itchy Sign Signatito? I don't know what the hell I read there. But anyway, they're dead and gone out for the rest of the game. It is now first and 10. Hall on the opposing 17. Fifth Swarm just running away with it with the uh, Nashville Lycan scoring performances. They're now up to 33. Lost Wages and Vaders have yet to score since their one touchdown. This Swarm credited with his second touchdown of the game. 521 left in the third quarter. They're going to go for the one point attempt. Ball snapped. Kicks up. And it's good. Add another point to the score. Nashville Lycans commanding this ball game 34 to 7. They will now kick off to Blagging Blagging Nats. And is wrestled to the ground. For a first and 10. Oh, watch out for that lightning there. Ball on their own 39. That lightning's been striking real crazy, but it hasn't hit any of the players yet. Here comes Gremlin Snake. And that's going to move him up. Six yards, second down, four yards to go. Ball on their own 45. Quarterback takes the snap. Looking for a receiver. Manages to find one just in time. Brian Deadwards will help them gain some yardage. Fresh set of downs after the chains have been moved. They'll start the next set of chains on the opposing 31-yard line. It is first and 10. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Lucas Garilota, Gremlin Snake. And they will only gain a yard on the play, second and nine. Ball on the opposing 30. Sends it over to the running back, Gremlin Snake. Enough for the first down. Gain of 12. First to 10 ball on the 18. Takes the snap. Sends it over. Quick screen pass to the receiver, and it just hit him in the butt, and the ball lands on the ground. Incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ooh, watch out for that lightning. Mika Scorland. And that actually back, got backed up a yard. Third down, 11 to go. Ball on the 19. Nashville like it's looking for an incredible stop here. Mucus Scariota sends it over and does not make it through. They're, they're short two yards. Fourth down, two yards to go. They will attempt a field goal. Picks up. And the three-point attempt is good. They will now kick off. Asheville Lincolns with a 24-point lead. Itchy Howler set to return. And a good play there, but will get stopped at their own 39-yard line. That's where they'll start the proceedings. First and 10. And, oh, wow, a ref attack. Who was responsible for that one? Yes, it is the Nashville Lycans that for some reason decided to kill the ref. I, I don't remember the ref being bribed for anything, but, yeah. Killed a ref early. And now there's a quarterback sack attack, and that they're going to lose their quarterback again. They did not make it on that play. Lost Wages Invaders must take a 15-yard penalty for that. Well, they did. Hogan Hood side now dead and gone for the rest of the game. 2.41 left in the third. Oh. 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 
Kevin Shogun, the quarterback, who gets sacked on the play, loss of 12 yards. It is now second and 22, ball on their own 27. That's embarrassing. Number 42, Gory lift a ton. Credited with the third tackle, first sack of the game. He's now second and 22. Kevin Shogun sends it over to A.J. Grau. Makes it past the first down line. And it's a first down. Asheville Likens definitely wanted to keep that big commanding lead up and going. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Kevin Shogun takes a snap, looks for a receiver, finds one in AJ's growl, and that will move him up a ton of yardage. They will now go into the red zone, first and 10. Making the snap is Kevin Shogun. Might find another receiver. And I don't know what in the world happened there. And, oh, I don't know what happened there either. Looks like Kevin Shogun may have been struck by lightning. And that's going to take him out of the game. There's only two quarterbacks left on the team roster. They lose them. Game's over. And with a full quarter still left to play after this quarter, oh boy, things are going to get really, 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 really dodgy. Hot pass Gormans will take the snap and gain four yards for the team. Third down, six to go. All on their own 16, uh, opposing 16. Gord's Talbot, quarterback, finds the receiver, and it's a touchdown, Nashville like it. They will now attempt a one-point extra point play. And it's good. Asheville Likens now commanding the lead by 31 points. The score is 41 to 10. Lost Wages Invaders, they need to get something going now. If they go into the next quarter with, the, with that kind of a di um, difference, if not bigger, I think they're done for the game. Definitely done. They'll start the proceedings at their own 36 yard line. First and 10. Sends it over to Grenlin Snake. Gets a gain of three yards. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 39. With just 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Grenlin Snake is just able to get that first down on the play and that will officially do it for the third quarter once again the third quarter sponsor is the Houston Astros making dirty MFL players blush since 1952 we are now going to start this fourth and final quarter of the game lost wages invaders down by 31 Lucas Gariota looking for a receiver. Burner ball, dirty trick. Only taking out one player that time around. Number 29, Flame Cruxshank. Dead and gone for the rest of the game. You have 640 left in the game. Hurry up offense have been activated. They need to get something going. And it's taken down just enough for the first down. Ball has been placed on the 18-yard line. Lucas Gariota looking for another receiver. Finds one and gets a touchdown. Lost wages and faders. Pick up six points. Gunter Zinflo credited with a touchdown. That's his first of the ball game. And I do recommend that they try to go for two, although they are just going to freaking ignore me and try the one instead. Picks up. 
It is good. Lost Wages Invaders, however, oh, they are very, very, very far behind. You could tell the Lost Wages Invaders defense is going to start getting extremely aggressive to get that ball back. Itchy Howler going to attempt to return the ball and will get stopped at their own 43-yard line. Nice return there. It is first and 10. Teams are lining up. Receiver motion. Sends it over to the running back. One pass score, man. Ooh, clunkered upside the head for a gain of seven yards. Second down, three yards to go. Once again to the running back. Makes it past the yellow line for a fresh set of downs. And it's wrestled down at the opposing 41-yard line. First and 10. Lawrence Telbit. Oh, mother ball, dirty trick. And that took out all oh, three players on that one. AJ Growl is going to take that one in for the touchdown. Another six points to Nashville Lycans. I told you, lost wages invaders, you got to watch out for the dirty tricks. You had to be more aggressive. You just didn't do that. And just like that, the Nashville Lycans have taken their lead to an impossible to beat number at this point. There's 5.05 left in the game. Numbers 42, 91, and 39 are both dead and gone. And I've just been informed, uh-oh, Lawrence Tailbed is dead and gone. Number 12, there's only one quarterback alive. Lost Wages Invaders might still win this game by forfeit. They need to keep their one last quarterback alive for the next five minutes, five seconds. And just when I said that, somebody in the nosebleed section of Newsom Stadium has just won our $277,000 jackpot. He got the bingo. And the one-point attempt is no good. Nashville Lycans still on 47-17. They have a 30-point lead, but they need to keep their quarterback alive. If anything happens to the quarterback and he dies... Lost Wages Invaders will get the win by forfeit. Bled Ignatz. Burn Turner. And you can tell that the Lost Wages Invaders, they may try to deliberately get rid of the ball, get it back to Nashville Lycans, and try and kill that quarterback. They now have a reason to win. Gremlin Snake. And that's what's interesting about the Mega Fun League. It doesn't even matter how old. Oh, Muka Scariota dead and gone. I think that's what, second quarterback for them? They have three quarterbacks remaining. Yeah, that's the one thing about a uh, Mutant Football League. You could be up by 500 points, but still lose the game if you don't keep your players alive. They will drop the pass on that play. It is third down, 11 yards to go. Ball on their own, 36. Hurry up, offense has been activated. Nathan Biederman. Quarterback looking for a receiver. Gremlin Snake makes the first down. It is first and ten. Gremlin Snake running back. Take it down to the 19-yard line. It is first and ten once again. Nathan Biederman. Looking for a receiver. Gremlin Snake takes it in. Touchdown. And that will move the Lost Wages Invaders up to 23 points. But at this point, I'm not sure if they care about the number on the scoreboard. They want that last quarterback of the Nashville Lycans dead and gone to win by forfeit. This game is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Snap, kick, and it's no good. They will not get the extra point. They're stuck on 23. With 3.49 left to go. Lost Wages Invaders are going to try an onside kick. And they will recover it. Lost Wages Invaders will recover the onside kick. And I guess in a bit of a silver lining in the dark cloud, the Nashville Lockets will have a fully rested and healed up quarterback in time for their next drive. Gremlin Snake.
gonna oh as i was about to say that gremlin snake running back is dead and gone only two running backs remain on the team roster if they lose those two running backs they won't have to forfeit but they will not be able to do any more running plays First and ten. And now we got a chainsaw dirty trick. Howard Dry Bones. Ooh, we got a lot of slaughter here, ladies and gentlemen. Howard Dry Bones is going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Lost Wages Invaders. They are creeping up. The lead is closing in. It is now only by 18 points. And number 93, Tira Apart, is dead and gone. They're going to attempt a one-point play. Kick is up. Once again, it is no good. They, they cannot navigate around that uh, living field goal. It is no good. Ball is at the 29-yard line. I mean, 35-yard line. Nashville like it still with the lead. They're going to attempt an onside kick. Once again, they will recover it. Nashville like it's unable to pay attention to stuff like this. Come on. 2.50 left in the game. Fourth quarter. Nashville like it's staying on defense. Nathan Biederman sends it over. Brian Deadwards. Oh, does not take it all the way down. He might make it to the house. And they will. Touchdown, Lost Wages Invaders. And just like that, the lead has been shrunk once again, this time to 12. 12 points is the difference. Lots of high scoring in this game. 229 left in the fourth. Lost Wages Invaders. Kicks it up. Nathan Biederman sends it in. The two-point is good, and now the lead is all the way down to 10. Nashville Likens choking away all those points that they had in the lead. They had they at one point had a 31-point lead. Yeesh. Lost Wages Invaders. Oh, it doesn't look like they're going to try for... Let me see. Oh, they're going to do a normal kickoff. Oh, I know why. Defense is rested up. They're healthy. They're ready to go. They're looking to kill the last quarterback of the game. And that's it. Their last quarterback available. He goes out. The whole team goes out. Oh, Beast Boost Dirty Trick. One pass Gorman. Makes it past the first down line. Oh! Oh, what a sacrifice made to the team. Number seven, one pass Gorman, dead and gone. With 2.02 left in the fourth quarter, they will take a two minute warning. Nashville Likens still with a 10 point lead, but they only have one quarterback to go. They're in a dire situation. They need to get this W. Let's see how they'll do here. Says over to scare me, McKenzie, running back, take it down for a gain of one. Directly at midfield, it is second down, nine yards to go. Lost wages, Invaders. First of two, first of three timeouts for the half. They have two timeouts remaining in the game. To the quarterback, immediately sends it to the running back, having the running back do his job. Finds the receiver. All the way to the opposing 32-yard line. Move the chains. It is another first down. Lost Wages Invaders taking the second of three timeouts. They have one timeout remaining. It is There is one minute, 38 seconds left in the fourth and final quarter of the game. Wolf K9, the last quarterback for the Nashville Lycans. Finds the receiver. Gulio Bounds. Oh, gets stopped by the spikes. That's got to hurt. First and one. Lost Wages Invaders taking their final time out of the game. We'll take the ball at the one. Running back is in. Touchdown, Nashville Lycans. They will move up to 53, and they will change 
the units to get the quarterback off the sidelines as quickly as possible. A minute 18 left in the fourth and final quarter. They're going to go for the one point play. Kick is up. It's no good, but it doesn't matter. Nashville Lycans gotten back to a 16 point lead. They'll kick the ball to the Lost Wages Invaders. Blade Ignatz, burn returner. Take it to the 30, the 35, and it's smacked down at the 35. Minute six remaining. Hurry up offense in play. Nathan Biederman looking for a receiver, finds one in Gunther's then flow. It's now first down. Ball now at the 43-yard line opposing. Nathan Biederman. Sends it over to Gunther Zenflow again, and again they will get a first down. Lost Wages Invaders with no timeouts left on play. Nathan Biederman sending it over, and it's a pass drop. Second down and 10 yards to go. Ball on the opposing 26-yard line. All right, offense now once again been activated. 30 seconds to go. Nathan Biederman, quarterback, sending it over. Howard Drybones, take it down at the five yard line during the red zone, first and goal. 13 seconds left in the fourth and final quarter. Nathan Biederman trying to get something going. They will get a first, they will get a touchdown. But is it too little, too late with only five seconds to go left in the fourth quarter and they're still being down by 10. They're hoping to get the offense on board and kill that last quarterback, but I'm not sure if they have enough time for that. It looks like the Nashville Lackets will get their first game of the season. They send it up. No good. Still have 10 points of a difference. Is it going to be worth it trying an onside kick? They're going to try it, though. Sends it over. And that's illegal, an illegal penalty on the play. Ball will be spotted on the 40-yard line. Ball will be spotted on, their, on the opposing 30-yard line. Oh, they're going to try it again. This time they're going to do a regular kick. Oh, no. I take that back. They're going to try an onside kick. Julio Bones is going to try and run it out. And that will do it. The Nashville Lycans keep their one remaining quarterback alive and officially seal the deal. They move up to one and two in third place in the mute in the Monster Casket Division. Oh, Lost Wages Invaders. Oh and three. You hate to see that coming. Ladies and gentlemen, the final stats is brought to you by my 32 ounce tin of water. I'm gonna need a lot of that after this one because I just called two games in one night. Seriously, I don't understand how in the world uh, Grim Brickhead and Bricks Jr. can handle this. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the MVP of the game. And once you see the stats and it disappears, we'll see you next time. <laughs>